has there ever been a moment that you'd like to go back and maybe give a different punchline or uh, change something that might alter your future? Oh, sure. I mean, so many things from high school. <laughs> Just conversations where, you know, what's in your mind doesn't connect to what comes out of your mouth. Um, you know, things that I, where I behaved in a way that I'm not proud of looking back, you know, defending a friend, things like that. Um, but no, not, not no like one big regret that I would, I would focus on, I think. So I'm incredibly shy. And um, when I saw you giving that speech the first time, I was like, wow, he's so good. But of course you had a little bit of a chance to practice. So how good are you at making speeches and are you comfy in the limelight? Uh, yeah, I've done quite a few speeches at weddings actually. Um, both of my sister's weddings I spoke. Um, it was actually, you know, before I was on SNL or in television at all. And I, I enjoyed it very much. I don't know, I'm the youngest child of three and I've always sort of been uh, a little bit wild and use that to get attention for myself and, you know, get a, a seat at the table with my family. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I, I don't know why. I think I understand that it's strange to be comfortable doing it, but I also have always just been okay with it. And I, I don't really know why. I think I'd have to break it down in therapy or something. I started this interview of saying that I thought um, revisiting something would be a nightmare, but we're kind of living the nightmare right now. Every day there's a little bit of the same routine. Yeah. How good are you with routine? And because you're so comfy with yourself, are you doing like uh, performing plays or doing something fun at home to break that monotony? Um. I'm okay with routine, you know, I, my attention span runs out quickly, but I have a three-year-old daughter and that makes things stay exciting and ever-changing. Um, and certainly the most performing I'm doing these days is with her. We, we do a lot of make-believe and making up stories and songs and doing puppet shows and that kind of thing. Uh, that's That's been really fun. Are you doing something that you did uh maybe with your folks as a child? Certainly some of the books that we're reading together. Yeah, you know, like the Little Critter books and Bernstein Bears and that kind of stuff. Shel Silverstein, it's been really fun. This movie was so sweet, um, while it's also really, really funny. Um, was there a particular message uh, that you wanted to send with it? Or was this just a fun romp that you connected with immediately? Um, well, it connected with me both because it was funny and because I liked the message. And, you know, I don't like to talk too much about what like the message is, just I don't want to tell people what to think. And I, I like people to have their own experiences, but certainly, you know, the notion of finding space to ex examine yourself and forgive yourself for things that you may punish yourself for and learning to care about yourself enough to allow yourself to let other people into your life and into your heart. Oh. I think it's really valuable if people are able to do that and especially if it's what they want. I love that so much. Um, as I wrap up, uh, what was the most difficult scene for you to shoot? Because you've got some crazy ones in there. <laughs> um, some of the torture stuff, I'm being tortured by JK Simmons character a few times and he was, um, you know, a perfect gentleman about it, but some of it was slightly scary in actuality. <laughs> um, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask to do that over again, but I was happy to do it. It's a, a really sweet movie, as I said, and it, it really lifted my spirits. Thank you so much for your time. Of course, thank you. Thank you.